I want to thank you all for being here this morning and dipping your toes into the experience of doing direct action and protesting. But this is this this is dipping your toe in a very deep, wonderful pool. And um, this Sunday, we're having a teach-in that has a lot of different resources from the community to give you an introduction to civil disobedience, nonviolent civil disobedience, um, to protesting, to talking about the legalities of protesting, so that as time goes by, you may want to decide to um, do a little more and shake up the system a little more and exercise your civil rights and uh, do a little do a little more direct direct action. So I hope that you'll come on Sunday, even if you don't want to step up and get arrested. Uh, there's a lot of roles. I once heard someone say, for every person who gets arrested, we need three people to do support. So even yeah. if you don't want to go to jail, if you can, uh, you know, support the people who want to to want to uh, step it up, that would be wonderful. Um, I've been arrested seven times. I've spent the longest I've spent was two and a half days at uh, Jefferson County Jail. It's not pleasant, but it's not that bad. So, <laughs> what's the location and time? That oh, thank you. At the Grange Sunday from one to five. I know that that conflicts with something the Quakers are doing, but come over before, come over after. So the first hour is the Poetic Justice Theater doing an interactive scene. They will set up a scene of a sit-in at a bank with cops coming to arrest people and some people kind of agitating and escalating the tension. And then people get to step in and try out what they think they might do if that was a real situation. It gives you a chance to kind of experience what that's like and for the whole community to talk about how to deal with that kind of a thing. It helps you get ready and thinking about that's something you want to do, maybe it's not, but it's a way to, to kind of think about it a little deeper. The second hour is going to be two people doing a reading from excerpts of Martin Luther King's letter from Birmingham jail. When he was in Birmingham and got arrested, people were criticizing him as being an outside agitator and just wasting people's time and energy. And he wrote the most powerful um, argument for why people do civil disobedience. And so they're going to be reading from that. And then there'll be a, um, a, a documentary DVD showing of a portion of a, a film called A Force More Powerful, and that force is nonviolence, and it has footage from Gandhi and Martin Luther King and the people preparing for the uh, civil rights demonstrations back in the 60s. Third hour is um, Paul Richmond, the attorney who's going to be talking about the legalities of protesting, not just going to jail, but just your, your legal rights as a protester doing something like this through the jail process. And the last hour is Carolyn Wildflower, who has been doing all-day trainings for people for years to help them prepare for actually like blocking a road or blocking a military base or whatever the other action might be where, where you really do intend to get arrested. And so she'll be giving you kind of an introduction and inviting you to follow up with taking a uh, workshop with her. She'll be doing a really interesting... Um, it's called a spectrum exercise where everybody stands in a line and she will read a statement like, eating meat is violent. Do you agree? Step up. If you disagree, step back. You know, um, so th there's different levels and we're, we're going to spread out across the room as we see where we are. I know I've done this before and sometimes I was really surprised that there were statements I hadn't even thought about where I was on different issues. And then there'll be time to talk about it together so that we can all kind of get to know each other and get to know where we are and make sure that when there is a stronger action, we can trust each other and we can work together and we can have real good communication so that it's as safe as we can possibly make it. We can't stop all things and I have been at demonstrations where the cops are really scary and in riot gear and pepper spraying and all that good stuff. And um, while I don't know that Jefferson County or the Port Townsend police might do that, have you noticed across the country the cops are all doing the same actions? They're all being sent somewhere and they're all being trained in the same procedures. So we don't know what our local guys have done, but I think we need to do what we can to make sure it's as safe for us and the police and the sheriff's department as we possibly can. So I hope you come on Sunday. It's the first step. If the feedback's good, I'll do some more. I've been doing this for a long time and I'm really happy to offer it out again. All right, there you go.